I'm afraid of having a bone marrow test. Is there any other way to confirm a diagnosis? While a bone marrow test is truly the golden standard for diagnosing blood cancers, there are other methods that can hint at the possibility of such a condition. These include blood tests that check for any unusual cell counts, imaging tests that are on the lookout for any tumors, and physical examinations to feel for any swollen lymph nodes or an enlarged spleen. But these tests are just indicators that suggest the presence of a blood cancer. To get a surefire diagnosis, a bone marrow biopsy test is usually the way to go. This is the one question I always have a hard time answering because I've never really undergone one and I see that the experiences of undergoing a bone marrow procedure vary greatly among patients. Take a look at these comments I found while sifting through the internet to read patients' experiences. It was a bit painful, but not nearly as bad as I was expecting. The pain was unbearable and a month later, the pain still hasn't gone away. I was given anesthesia, but now six hours later, it feels like I've been kicked by a horse. I was honestly expecting a 9 by 10 on the pain scale, but surprisingly only got a 4.5. So where we're planning to get the marrow from is this spot on the hip bone. It's called the posterior superior iliac spine, just on the iliac crest. To locate it, we first find the waistline and then move our hand down towards the upper buttock area. It's where the dimples appear on many people's lower backs. In general, the posterior superior iliac spine is not difficult to locate, especially for experienced doctors. One of the first things I examine as a doctor when seeing a patient who is about to undergo a bone marrow test is their body build and habitus, as it can affect the ease of locating the posterior superior iliac spine. A larger body size and habitus increases the amount of excess soft tissue to be penetrated. These cases will require longer trocars, which will increase the opportunity for error and pain. After locating the posterior superior iliac spine, we clean the area carefully. Then we numb the spot where we'll put in the needle for the bone marrow test. We use a special kind of needle, the modern Jamshedi needle to get into the bone marrow. The standard trocar is three and a half inches and for larger patients, a six inch trocar may be required. You may feel a sharp but brief pain when the needle is inserted. The needle is rotated with careful pressure until it goes through the cortex. When the needle is in the spongy tissue, the trocar is removed and a 5 ml syringe is connected to the needle. You may feel a dull ache or some pressure when the bone marrow sample is drawn. 0.2 to 2 ml is quickly aspirated for a regular bone marrow smear. Smears are placed on slides and are dried before fixation and staining. Additional samples are collected for specialized tests such as flow cytometry, karyotyping and other molecular tests. The next step is inserting a wider needle to get a solid piece of the bone that has the bone marrow. The discomfort usually subsides shortly after the procedure. How do I care for the biopsy site? During the biopsy, we make a tiny cut around 2 to 3 mm at the biopsy site. This heals fast without needing stitches. A waterproof dressing is applied, which you should take off one to two days later, preferably while you're on the shower. Once the dressing is off, we put a band-aid on the cut, especially if your clothes touch it. Bone hardness varies over a lifetime, becoming softer as we age. Penetrating the bones of younger individuals and athletes requires more effort. Blood cancers such as multiple myeloma can impact the structure of the bone marrow, affecting the bone hardness. This can render the bone fragile and brittle, making it susceptible to what are known as pathological fractures. There may already be lytic lesions or holes in the bones. Sometimes during the procedure, the needle can unexpectedly give way due to these weaknesses. A dry tap is a term used when a bone marrow aspiration procedure fails to retrieve a sufficient sample of bone marrow fluid. This is particularly the case for patients with blood cancer at the time of diagnosis with a packed marrow where the marrow space is filled with cancerous cells. 
In such instances, it may be necessary to employ other diagnostic procedures or repeat the bone marrow biopsy at a later date or a different site. So what can happen is your doctor might make repeated attempts to retrieve the bone marrow aspirate sample, making it uncomfortable and painful despite the local anesthesia. Can I get the procedure done under general anesthesia instead of local anesthesia to ensure I don't feel the pain? Usually bone marrow tests are done with local anesthesia. However, you can choose to be fully sedated under general anesthesia depending on your pain tolerance and anxiety levels. It's important to understand that this option carries additional risks and may require more extensive preparation. So yes, we occasionally perform the bone marrow aspiration biopsy under general anesthesia in select patients. I have a low back ache and my hip is already hurting. Are there any other locations in my body where a bone marrow aspiration can be performed? Yes, the sternum or the breastbone is another site where the bone marrow aspiration can be performed. However, it is typically used in adults and usually only for marrow aspiration, not for a marrow biopsy. The posterior superior iliac spine remains the preferred site for a bone marrow biopsy because of its ease of access and the thickness of the bone, which allows for a better sample. As for the pain, both sides can cause some discomfort during and after the procedure. I know this is going to be painful, but is there anything else I should be worried about? Right after a bone marrow test, you could have pain or discomfort at the test site, bleeding and infection. Some might feel dizzy or faint due to a vasovagal response. Long-term issues are rare but could be ongoing bleeding or infection, bone damage and in extremely rare cases damage to nearby structures. Doctor, I have already had a bone marrow biopsy before. Are you sure I can undergo another especially at the same site? Yes, you may need to have more than one bone marrow test. If you are being tested for conditions like blood cancer, you will probably have this test more than once. For example, you will have it at the start and then again after your first month of treatment to check how well you are responding to treatment. You might also need this test if there is a chance of your disease coming back after successful treatment. Even though it might be uncomfortable, it's usually safe. If you've had a bad time with your past test, talk about it with your doctor. They can address your concerns, especially the test's necessity and explore methods to make the process more comfortable for you. How long does it take for the results of the biopsy? A bone marrow biopsy typically takes two to four working days to fully process. The additional tests done on the bone marrow that can take a number of weeks. 